Welcome, combatants, to another day in the arena. It's your boy James, aka NeuralNet Games, bringing you the second Crimson Vow video for the day. I'm working hard, I'm having fun, having a great time. And I call this deck Mana Hell. It's based around the Mana Form Hellkite right here, one of the newest, most powerful cards, I believe. I, this has got to be a top five card. Um, and it allows you to do some really cool things around all runs. You're going to see all runs in here, which I don't use a lot. Good old, you know, gold span dragon. We'll talk about how it all works. And we've also got more extra turns, but we're not doing any galvanic iteration. We're not copying extra turns. And so it changes how this deck functions and it turns it into more of an aggro deck and less of a control deck that just sits there and counters and fading hope and divide by zero and all that stuff until you can play a galvanic iteration into all runs into whatever else you feel like doing. So we're going to go through how the deck works here shortly. But before we get there, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell, turn on notifications because I'm pumping out Magic the Gathering Arena decks this is going to be my second one of the day. And if I can make it happen, I'm going for three decks today. We'll see. We'll see how tired I am. It's almost dinner here and I'm still working on this deck. So we'll kind of see what my kids have to say. Anyways, let's get into the deck tech. Couple of fading hopes just to slow the opponent down. Because even though it's aggro, it's not super fast. We got a couple light up the knights. This is going to be amazing with mana form Hellkite after you play a turn like Alchemist Gambit. And then you, you know, next turn, you play like a six or seven point light up the night. And that gives you a six or seven point creature. It essentially doubles, right? The effectiveness. And you can really just strike hard on an extra turn. Can be, I think, really good. Um, I never really got to use it a lot today. I mean, I'm kind of having to sacrifice a little bit to pump this content out for you. So hopefully you appreciate that. The deck, the videos aren't perfect, but they are really good. There's some really cool combos that happen. You got to watch them. Okay, one Jawari Disruption just to slow people down in the beginning. One Counterspell. Dragon's Fire, right? Do some crowd control, stuff like that. Pump up our Smoldering Egg. Do some damage, uh, maybe if it's already the Ashmouth Dragon. By the way, the Ashmouth Dragon is legit. The Ashmouth Dragon is pretty junky looking too. So is, what is it? Yeah, the gold span and the Ashmouth are pretty chunky. Anyways. Four expressive iterations just to go digging in the beginning. Two Shatter Skull Smashing. We should have a fairly decent amount of mana with the Unexpected Windfalls, the Goldspan Dragons, etc. And, oh, sorry, the Galazeth Prismari. And then we've got Alchemist Gambit, so more extra turns. You can play it, so seven uh, if you play Cleave, right? And But only three. Only three if you... Play it for its non-cleave, but you lose the game the turn after. But I think for aggro decks, this can actually be pretty good. The card is not as bad as All Runs Epiphany. It's not. It's not going to have the same effect on the meta. And running three copies of Alchemist Gambit and three copies of All Runs Epiphany is actually fairly risky because you are going to have to mulligan a little bit more. Like if you grab a couple of these early on, you could be in a pretty big hole against aggro deck. So, I mean, I think there's pretty high risk, uh, pretty high reward, but pretty high risk as well. And it's not nearly as bad because when you galvanic this, one, you get to uh, foretell it, hides it from elite spellbinders, hides it from discard. Then you get it for six instead of seven. Then you get to create the birds and do damage as well, have blockers, stuff like that. So it's not nearly as bad as all runs. Okay, moving on. The Wandering Mind. And I'm not sure about this card. Just threw it in. The art on this is legit, by the way. Simon, Dominic, good stuff, buddy. Um, so, flying, cost three mana. When Wandering Mind enters the battlefield, look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them and put it into your hand. This is just going to allow us to dig for our unexpected windfalls, our light up the nights, our fading hopes, all kinds of different stuff. It's pretty weak for three total mana though. And then we've got our main card. I don't know if it needs four. I think three is probably good, but whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create an XX red dragon illusion creature token with flying and haste where 
X is the amount of mana spent to cast that spell, exile that token at the beginning of the next end step. So what you can do is you can play an unexpected windfall once your opponent passes priority to you and you do it on their end step. And then you've got a 4-4 four, four flyer for next turn. It won't die until the beginning of the next end step. And then next turn, you cast a light up the night for six or seven. You get a 4-4 four, four, a 4-4 four, four illusion. You get a 6-6 six, six or a 7-7 seven, seven illusion. You've got a mana form Hellkite, and you can put six or seven damage where you want, probably to their face, and, you know, put out 20 damage kind of out of nowhere. Like, is this mana form Hellkite is going to be so fun. It has a super dope animation when you play it, too. Love the card. Unexpected windfall. Let's get us some more treasures. Let's, you know, ramp up so we can play some more things. Play a big Shatter Skull. Play a big Light Up the Night. Stuff like that. This can be really good as well with the mana form. Like, just, you know, put down a huge Shatter Skull. Wreck their board and just dish out a ridiculous amount of damage. Then we got Galazeth Prismari. When Galazeth Prismari enters the battlefield, create a treasure token. Artifacts you control have. Add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast an instant or sorcery spell. Pfft. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um, for four mana, pretty powerful effect. Works well in the deck. Legendary though, so two copies is probably enough. Our good old workhorse, the gold span dragon, the junky gold span dragon, who is just straight up thick. <laughs> and so good in every way. And we've got our all runs. Everybody knows that. And I'm running 5, 6, 15, 19, 23, 25, 26 total lands in the deck so that we have access to lots of mana to combo our mana form into our light up the night and play our alchemist gambit and our all runs to get a couple extra turns to just put the heat on them. I don't feel nearly as bad about playing extra turns because I feel like this deck is actually quite risky, uh, but it's very rewarding to play as well. It definitely does need a little bit of tuning though. So what I need you to do is I need you to watch the gameplay and then I need you to comment. What else does this deck need? Because it needs three or four tweaks to really get where it needs to be. It's not as powerful as the zombie deck I created earlier, but I feel like it has the same potential. And if you haven't watched the zombie deck, I created earlier go look for it it's just it's the video I put out just before this one and necro duality the new zombie card from crimson vow it's an enchantment uh, you just essentially copy every zombie spell that you cast it is wildly powerful make sure you go and watch it and let's get to it okay opponent is on the play we are on the draw Um, I guess we're going to get this going here. And then we will go to the smoldering egg. One blue. They foretell what? A poison the cup? Or doomscar? They're only white so far. Yeah. Two doomscars? <laughs> okay. So what do we do then? We want to expressive iteration, right? Put one of them into your hand. Gold span. One of them into your library. Den of the bugbear, I guess. No, dragon's fire, sorry. Den of the bugbear is our land. Okay. What do you got, Zinray? You got an Alchemist Gambit? Oh, it's an Angel deck. <laughs> okay, then. What have they foretold? Oh, they foretold that Starnheim Angel one where they can cast angels. They can get a bunch of angels going, right? So, what are we going to do here? What do we got to ramp? Can't play that, but we don't need to play anything else this turn, so we probably should play this this turn. Let's play a Wandering Mind. Or do I want a Smoldering Egg? Probably a Wandering Mind first. We get a non-creature spell. Okay, yeah. Unexpected Windfall is good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we don't have an All Runs. We do have an Alchemist Gambit up fairly soon. 
Okay, four more life. Okay, so what do we want to do here? Expressive, and then we have three more. Or we gold span, except we can't attack with the gold span, right? Um, unless we like double dragon's fire, and then we can't get there anyways. We could expressive two, three, four. We're going to get to five mana. So close. This is so flipping awkward right now. Um, we can expressive. I guess I just want fading hope right now. Yeah. Uh, I'll put one into your library. Probably just the land. How much land we have? Yeah. Probably that. Yeah. Okay. So we have three mana now. So we can fading hope. Uh, I guess we just wait though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have to deal with one of them. And we can transform it, but we can do it on their turn anyways. I could play another egg and then do it next turn. No, let's just do this. Let's get a couple damage in. Hmm. I don't know about this creature. Costs quite a bit. They just do the same thing again. Yeah, fair enough. It's Dragon's Fire. <laughs> okay, we got a lot going on now. Let's throw one, two, three, four, five. We could unexpected windfall. We could go another smoldering egg. Um, could Alchemist Gambit, which would be a little bit crazy. Three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we want to go Smoldering Egg here. Um, we can Unexpected Windfall. And get ourselves pretty near. Let's just save it. Uh, no attacks yet. Let's get it right now. Give me the response. Let's get rid of the Wandering Mind. Yeah, it's going to get real bad for them here. We pick up our, our other stuff so we can Alchemist Gambit and just go off on them here. Uh, no blocks. Okay, I think we can win the game here. So the first thing we can do is we can just Alchemist Gambit for seven, right? Why are you tapping so weirdly? Three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I don't, yeah, we don't actually get anywhere, right? So we might as well just go to their face. We can dragons fire and kill their angel. But then I don't know if I don't have enough mana for the gold span, right? I really want a gold span. Okay. Let's Alchemist Gambit again, or let's Gold Span first, right? We have to Gold Span first and then Alchemist Gambit. Five, 
we have plenty to do it. Yep. Um, I can attack and get the mana, but I don't really want to. It's Alchemist Gambit. Pay the cleave. Two, three. We should have seven here, right? Yeah, okay. Which is the one that has lifelink? This one has flying and vigilance. So let's get rid of this one, right? Uh, we can just drag inspire their face here too. I guess we just have to kill them, right? Let's not do that. I thought it was choose a dragon you control. Like, what am I just being stupid here or what? Choose a dragon you control. Yeah, okay. Just be a dumb. Andy, you did. You dead. Um, let's just get this going just because. Wee wee. Angel deck no more. Okay, we're on the draw. That's fine. Smoldering egg. Okay. Let's just nuke it. I don't want them to have a fading hope up or something. I just want it to die. Reveal a dragon card. Then we can expressive, go grab our land, hopefully. Another smoldering egg. Um, we can just nuke it again, really, right? Let's expressive here, though, instead this turn. Although that really slows us down, doesn't it? We kind of want to go mana form, don't we? And we can't kill it and go mana form. I would rather kill it. What do we have? We have a mountain, right? So we want to go blue here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, let's go mana form here. They foretell their all runs and they have a fading hope. Sweet. Okay, there's our fifth. Let's start rocking and rolling. Um, yeah. Like, you know, I could have expressive iteration, right? Yeah, son of a. Okay, they're digging. They are digging because they are in big trouble right now. Um, we can alchemist gambit. 
One, two, three, four, five. They could all runs, but they probably can't end our life with it. I could mana form and gamble, right? <laughs> Should I do it? I'm going to do it just because I can. We're going for it. And the scoop, too powerful. That's the power of that card. It's not as good as you think. It's not as good as all runs, but still good. Okay, on the draw again. Nice. <laughs> um, Man, that's slow. Got all the right mana, but it is a pretty bad hand. We're going for it though. We're on the draw. We can pick up a dragon fire or something, maybe. Pick up a fading hope. Pick a pick up an expressive iteration. Yeah, I don't know about the old wandering mind. Cool art though. Damn. That is dope. I love the art in magic. It's, it's, a lot of it is so good. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. We picked a bad time to stay pat on this hand. Bad time. Mm, yeah. It's going to get pretty bad for us if we don't pick up something besides friggin' lands. We're telling all runs. Get a wandering mind. I guess we can wandering mind it, right? Turn four, if we can get a, whatever the one is. I can't remember what it is, something spoils. Yeah, this is really bad. Yeah, it's really bad right now. Um, I guess we just foretell this. Let's see if they play a card first or if they attack first. Yeah, perfect. Good decision. Good decision. I don't know if we really want more land, do we? I mean, I guess we're not that far from all runs. Maybe we keep the land. Doesn't really get us anywhere right here, but we do have a couple all runs foretold. So if we can get to six mana, I'm an all runs guy now. Oh, you have to play your snarling wolf. Okay. I guess our only choice is the wandering mind. At least it will prevent some damage. I think we're going to go unexpected windfall here. That's the one I was talking about. <laughs> so we go gold span. That gets us to all runs, right? We can still stay alive. We are going to block here for sure. Make them pump it up. You know they're going to anyway, so it prevents one extra damage. Yep. Now, can we live? What do we do here? Um, We can kill Tovalar and then go all runs next turn. That's probably the best play, right? We can't all runs. The dragon sort of helps us, but I'd rather save it. They have nothing to pump it up with. Okay, still alive. We get to turn six, we get to all runs. We don't, we're not running any galvanic iterations because I'm not down for that, but. 
We can all runs. Get some birdies. Can they strike? Can they get seven extra damage on us? They can get four, seven. I see eight. Can they get four more? No, they cannot. Good. Okay. So we get a den of the bug bear. We can't play that. Okay, so I just we go I, we go straight to the all runs here. And then we go we go gold spin, we get up to It's too bad we didn't draw an extra land. We could gold span attack expressive iteration. We could gold span and attack. We could just all runs again. Because yeah, we only get to get that. We get three mana, right? Horns again. Hope our opponent's having fun. <laughs> it's one of those things. It's just not a very fun card, but it's still so damn good. Okay, so I attack with a gold spin, and then I can unexpected windfall. An attacker. <clears throat> I'm going to unexpected windfall right here so we can keep comboing, hopefully. Yeah, get rid of our, our expressive. Um, and then we do have a dragon spire to deal with something. Something that's getting feisty. Too bad we don't have another light up the night. First strike, won't matter. As long as we don't have any trample. A six, seven. And they're gonna blizzard brawl that. Yep. Okay, that is indestructible. Got to remember that. They blizzard brawl that, okay. Yep. What are you going to do? Gains trample. Okay. It's a 4-1 trampler that they can pump up. I think they're actually going to... Are they going to get us here? Are they actually going to get us? Indestructible trample first strike. Right? Okay. I guess we're taking the pup, right? I don't like the order it does that. It's really annoying. Okay, so we go one here. This is a 5-0. It does 5 damage to us. This is a sorcery. They've already put the counter on, right? Does the 5 damage matter? Do they have enough? 1, 2, 3. I guess we're dead. Did they forget? Yeah. Good game. Wow. Just enough. I can't believe it. <laughs> Unreal. Okay. We're going to keep it. It's not bad. 
We'll frost boil here first. Playing against Royal Fox, 25. Three, oh, they had to mulligan. Nice. Okay. We got a fading hope to slow him down if we need to. They play a Jawari. I really have the light up the night in here because I think it could be extremely powerful. Extremely powerful with the mana form Hellkite. I guess we're going Wandering Mind. If they have another Jawari, I mean, whatever. Uh, I guess we're getting another Fading Hope. <laughs> Now, do we wait to protect the mana form hill? That's. Um, they have a Zorn. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Turn four, they can't get to a gold span. We're going to go blue here. I'm going to go mana form. It's going to be fun. See if they can deal with it. They have a dragon in their hand and a dragon's fire. They maybe can. You know they're going to have a gold span kicking around, right? I'm just hoping we can, you know, take the advantage here. We got a fading hope. We got a dragon's fire of our own. Uh, Yeah, this is bad. We're not going to block, though. If it's a bluff, it's a great bluff because they know I can't take that risk. Um, so what do we want to do here? We could unexpected windfall, right? And get a four, four here. And just ditch one of the fading hopes. Could be pretty good. And then they light up the night to kill next turn. Let's see what they got going here. I mean, I want to do it this turn because I want to light up the night next turn. I guess I could wait and be more of a surprise though, right? That's probably the better play actually. Because I can still get the damage next turn. I don't know. It's pretty close. Because what you can do is if you play it after the beginning of their end step, then you'll get it for your next turn as well, and it'll be able to attack. It won't die. And so you play it when they pass priority to you at the end. I think that's my email. Probably close my email down. Okay. Now, what do I have? I've got eight on board. Yeah, we don't want a dragon's fire yet. We'll just fading hope our Maniform Hellkite. Try and save its life if they go after it. I'm going to have to remember that these aren't worth two when I'm doing my calcs because I'm used to a dragon, a gold span dragon. Uh, go ahead, play your gold span. Yeah. They have a bunch of mana now that they can do something with. So they can fading hope it. If they so choose. And this will die now because it's not their end step yet. But I don't really want to take the damage. Okay. They just go digging. Try and look for a fading hope. It's a good play. Try and look for something else. Counter. They have six mana. 
which means we kind of need to kill them. They don't have enough to all runs if they do have one in their hand. They can't galvanic it. But they can do some fancy things like galvanic into a fading hope and they scoop. See you later. No answers. <laughs> I don't know if this is a keep. I mean, we can dig. And we can probably get there by turn four. Pretty close. It's pretty darn close. I may regret this. Ball baller. Yeah, I'm going to regret this, I think. <laughs> I'm probably going to regret this because they're probably going to hard charge on me here. Maybe it's some sort of equipment deck that's not quite as fast as just pure goblins. It is probably some sort of equipment deck. That is also a fairly major problem, though. Okay, we get another land. Let's go our second frost boil here. Mm, yeah. A little expressive next turn. Oh, that's bad. They think we're just an is it turns deck. They take the Shatter Skull. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. It's going to be a little while till I can actually get it going, though. I should have foretold there, too. I blew it on the foretell. Okay, so what am I actually going to do? I guess I'm just going to Expressive here. We need something to keep us alive. Yeah, I'm sorry, Goldspan. Um, what do I do? Like, I got to use the light up the night right now, or I'm going to be in bad shape. I'll never make it. Elite is the most damage, but it's only really one more damage. So I take six next turn. X is zero. Confirm zero. crazy but I think in the long run it'll be a little bit better that's good for them they get a land that they can play they get an angel fire ignition we're in pretty big trouble here I'm recording that would be my child okay we can unexpected windfall we're at 8 they will kill us next turn though they're just going to play an Angel Fire Ignition. They're going to get six on us. Um, nowhere to go. We get two more mana. Is that better? And then we can do something else? Probably not, right? Okay. We're pretty much dead here. Pretty much dead. Yeah, they just Angel Fire Ignition. Or are they Reckless Storm Seeker? That's also fine. Nice. That will do it. That will be the end. Good game. <clears throat> Knew I'd regret taking that damn hand. Of course, we get a perfect curve out deck that just the deck just curves right out on us. Not a second wasted.